Welcome back with Cigars with Koi. Uh, so this episode is going to be one of my top uh, rated personal cigars that I absolutely love. Uh, every chance uh, I get my hands on one, I just I just can't wait for it to age in my in my humidor, and it drives me nuts. So this review is the Ko Brazilian. So this is a sixty ringer. Spice, uh, this has been curing in my humidor for right around I love uh, my uh, my cigar uh, cutter I just wish uh, it, it cut 60s uh, just other than uh, the cap Pre-lit draw, uh, nice, rich, rich cocoa, uh, tobacco. It's very, it, this is a very floral uh, cigar. I would have to say this is probably going to be very, very smooth. All my, all my top rated uh, cigars like my Alec Bradley are in my, uh, my designated uh, humidor. Wow, so good, so uh, absolutely smooth, uh, especially letting it age a little bit in my humidor right off the bat. Right off the bat, definitely uh, cocoa, nice spice, earthy, strong hay. It's just uh, just an amazing uh, cigar. If you've never had a KO Brazilian, you know what? Listen up. Right now, run to the closest uh, discount smoke shop or uh, a, like a cigar outlet and try this. Or just order it offline. The KO Brazilian will absolutely amaze you. This is a fantastic smoke. So this is my second one, my first one I fell in love with. I would have to say with this in the humidor, it's definitely a lot smoother and it's aged very perfectly. So smooth. Uh, a matter of fact, I'll, I'll tell you why I love uh, the KO Brazilians. Uh, they don't really have too much uh, of a bite. I like to uh, kind of fix uh, my cigars, help them out a little bit if they're uh, burning uneven. I would have to say this draw is is like a medium. It feels tight, but there is a lot of smoke output, as you can see. So I paid, I went to a local, like, tobacco shop. They have a, a small room of um, almost like a, like a walk-in humidor. And uh, so my first one I paid $7.99. This one was $7.99. Obviously, that's why I wanted to age it. I wanted to see if it, you know, you could really tell a difference even though it's uh, in their humidor. It seems like my humidor is, is extremely potent. Uh... So I do have, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it looks like the hockey puck. It's an actual, uh, the humidor that you put inside your box. Uh, filled it up with hot water and propylene glycol. Uh, emptied it out, and it's really got the humidity up. Right whenever you pop the box, man, you just get floral notes of that rich Nicaraguan tobacco. That's that's really the only kind of uh, tobacco that I really love smoking is that Nicaraguan. I like the bitter. I love the cocoa, Maduro's, uh, but definitely this is up there. I would I would have to say this is number two on my list. Now I am going to be doing another review on the Ko American, and I'm so excited to try that because that's a big cigar. I do believe this is uh, right around a five by sixty. 
where that is, or this thing might even be like a 4.5 by 60, where the American is uh, a lot bigger than uh, the KO. So that's going to be a very uh, fun review, I should, I should add. So we're going to see how this develops, and uh, we'll be uh, right back in, in a short GIF. I'm going to wait until it gets halfway done. I really want to see if it mellows out. If uh, the flavors really build up intense, uh, like the first time that I had the KOs.